it's Megan. We're gonna be checking out Kiss of Life's Get Loud Dance Practice. So, so excited to dive into this choreography. I mean, Miss Ma'am Slade. Miss Ma'am's have been killing the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, the track, she is certified banger. Have a listen to the album yet. Waiting for a first listen till I get around to it. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get onto those really quickly. Um, but yeah, so excited, girl. <sighs> And the music video looked crazy, girl. And that pre-chorus, when Nadi was hitting that thing, I was, or not the pre-chorus, the bridge, where she was hitting that thing, I was like, Miss Ma'am, all right, working it. Uh, so I guess you know what it let go. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, musicality. Ooh. Oh, hit that swag, girl. Okay. All right, dancer Slay, I see you. Oh, nice. Little partner work. Hello. I love the more hip hop kind of influence here, edge to the choreography. It's sick. It's not really, they haven't really attacked a track with like this much hip hop in it, choreography wise. So this is cool. Yes, Miss Dooley. Okay, nice. Okay, ooh, okay. All right, ooh. Okay. Slay. All right. Hey! Nice. Hey, hey, hey! Hype it up. Nice. Cool. Even there, that like part there where it just like the leg lift and it's kind of like a shake or like a little twerk moment in there. It's really cool because you saw how the females do it and make it like a twerk versus how the men can kind of do it and have their swag on it. <laughs> nice little forward there. Hello. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, see how she hit that? Uh huh. Woo! Hey. Hey, Miss Julie. That entrance is crazy. Woo. See, hit the groove, hit that footwork, girl. Nice. Nice. Oh man, those dancers slid into that front, girl. Into that front. Anyways, I loved it. I think the choreography is amazing. It has just kind of like, it's a very hip hop heavy choreography, which is so cool for them to do. Cause I mean, you hear that track and you're just like, okay, I'm hearing this. Uh, but it's really cool to get that into the choreography. Just kind of seeing how they always reinvent themselves choreography wise is so sick. And they really did that here once again. But yeah, and again, like, I think it's cool. Like there's little moments there again, when it's just like the little kind of like you lift your leg and then you kind of like twerk little move. Um, it's really cool to see just like how like the female dancers do it and they're kind of twerking But like how the men can do it and how they kind of throw the swag on it You know that same sort of move, but how to make it have like a bit, little bit more like a more masculine vibe versus more feminine vibe But I think it's so cool. It kind of like I don't know it has like um, It's got a big you got served energy um, Which is like so cool and it's just like it seems like a choreography kind of also inspired from just like the type of choreography from like The early mid 2000s type of era, you know what I mean? Not only the music, but also the choreography so that's like really really cool to see and it's got me kind of growing back to my like uh well i do it every now and again to where i'm just like oh i need my 2000s i need my justin timberlake produced by timberlands i need maybe a little bow wow up in here i mean i need a little marion um give me a little shanti maybe some nelly you know what i mean like 
um, they sort of just like certain tracks and stuff that sound like this sort of thing, um, which is just like so cool. So it kind of has me going back to that. Like I was listening to those before I started recording, but I think the choreography is amazing. My girls are killing it and it's really cool to see them um, kind of showcase some dance skills, a lot of grooves in there, some footwork. Like, hey, Miss Ma'am Slay. Uh, girl groups don't go too crazy when it comes to footwork and stuff, but um, for sure this is like a step in that direction, but I think it's cool. The dancers killed it, did a lot of stuff there. Um, to help enhance it but like the girls are slain too as well so I think it's a really dope choreography like um again it, like you got served you know what I was thinking about it the other day I'm like the track kind of gives like Fast and Furious soundtrack like early I'm talking about like one two three Fast and Furious movies because uh, you hear some of those and it's just like that whistle song when it goes I can't do it. Um, never mind. Uh, but um, yeah, it is the whistle song. Well, no, because that may be the Yang Yang Twins one. So what is it? What is it called? What is it called? It's not because I know the whistle song. It's the Yang Yang Twins. Um, whistle song. The, no, it is. It is Jules Santana. There we go. Never mind. Because there's also Wait by the Yang Twins. That's a whistle song. Then you got Flow Riders whistle. But I'm talking about the Jules Santana one. Um, so throwing it back, my girl Slade killed it. And I think it's like a cool performance too as well. And it's just yeah, kind of seeing what they're doing choreography wise is so sick. You know what I mean? Because I think their image and stuff is just about being like, um, very kind of like a sexy type of image and stuff. But also kind of like. Choreography wise, if you want to break it down in a technical standpoint, it's crazy because I feel like a lot of girl groups that we kind of saw when they do like a sexy choreography, say like most iconic, like in the second generation, that's when a lot of sexy concepts were happening. Like there may not, there might have been like technique there, but it's just like sometimes it's just like. It, it's not as technical, I guess, you know what I mean? Versus kind of what we get nowadays. So, um, I loved it. I thought it was dope. My girlies killed it. Go to put your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out my Kiss of Life, Get Loud dance practice. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below, or at the end screen, if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing Silent Hill 2 Remake of the Resident Evil Remaster for Spooky Season, so if you could join me over over there for that. Thank you so so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.